he opens the driver's side door. Why the fuck would you sit on the, why wouldn't you get in the back seat, dummy? So it was partially my fault, but it was also their fault too. Cause like, you're, what the fuck? You're fucking up my plan. Hey, like, My friend's boyfriend and me became closer over the summer and now she wants to fight. <sighs> Rightfully so. Cause why? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Heart is the heart hearting. It's the heart hearting. Anyway, y'all been harassing me again. Golly, I take a week or two off and y'all are on the back of my neck. Anya, where's the video? Anya, where's the video? It's here now. What the fuck? Anyway, so as y'all saw by the title of this video today, I will be turning myself into somebody's auntie just because. This video is sponsored by Berry Fashion Hair. And they gave me the auntie wig that we will be installing today. Y'all know, I know you guys love my three first. So today we're going to be telling a story time. We're going to listen to some music and I'm going to give you guys some auntie yay advice. Y'all need guidance. I'm here to provide it. I literally told this story on, I told it on TikTok, but I only told the first part. I'm finna give you all the details, sweet tales, you know what I'm saying? This will be a story of my first date, my first like official date, 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 date. Okay, cause it went to shit so fast, it's not even funny. Me and this person had been dating for about, bitch, I don't fucking know. So they decided they want to take me like out on like an actual fractual date, for real, for real. And I was like, <laughs> they stop playing with me like, <laughs> Stop for real, like don't do that. So he was like, okay, we're gonna go out to eat, wah, 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 you know, real, real cute rom-com kind of thing, right? Right, let me tell you where shit hit the fucking fan. The plan was they were gonna come to my house after they had practice and then we're gonna get a lift from my house to the restaurant. So it just so happened that practice was let out a bit early. Now I get what you're saying. Anya, what's the problem with that? The problem with that was that day I decided that I was like, hmm, you know what I wanna do? I wanna put on a brand new wig. Like I wanna put on fresh lace. I wanna beat my face. Like I wanna look good. I wanna smell good, look good. It's giving snacky snack, snack, snack. That's where the problem was, right? So mind you, we were supposed to get together at like seven. I started to get ready at like three or four. When they got out of practice early, it was like six something. It was like January, I think. So like it's cold outside and it gets dark early as fuck. They're like on their way or whatever about like six something. I'm like, babe, but I don't know how long you thought perfection was gonna take, but it's gonna take a lot longer. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So I'm like, babe, I'm not ready yet. So I don't, I don't know what the fuck you finna do. I was like, you can come chill in the house, but you gotta chill downstairs with my mama. My mama's not finna let you come to my room and be with me by ourselves. No, cause she gonna think we fornicating and fraculating and I don't have time for none of that. This motherfucker was like, no, like your mom scares me. That's so uncomfortable like i'm shy i don't want to do that i'm awkward i don't want to sit in there and i'm like so what the fuck are you gonna do pimp because i you can come sit in the house you can come sit in the fucking house i don't or you can go sit sit outside in the cold on the porch i think you can't sit on the porch because if you, my mama see you on the porch I'm like why is she outside on the porch coming out you see what i'm saying here so i'm like so what do you want to do stink what's the plan here they're like i oh, don't know but i really don't want to sit in there so blah 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 blah. let me tell you where i fucked up at it's like oh, okay if you don't want to sit in the house let me think let me think let me think my mom has two cars right Right? One of them doesn't like she never uses. So I was like, okay, I'll go outside, I'll unlock the car door, and I'll you can just sit in my mom's car or whatever until I'm ready and I'll tell you when to come to the door or whatever, right? And come knock on the door and come get me. They was like, okay, cool. So before they get here, I lied to my mom because I had to make it sound believable. I can't just walk outside her car keys and she gonna be like, What the fuck are you doing? I mean, so I grabbed the keys and I'm like, Mom, I think I left my AirPods in the car. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm finna go look for them. Bitch, when I say that was a genius ass lie, but then it crumbled before my my fucking eyes because I'm dumb as shit. Yeah, mom, like, I need to go find my AirPods. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. She was like, okay, go, go, what the fuck, I don't care. And so I go unlock the car door, right? I come back, anyway, I text the motherfucker, I'm like, okay, go sit in the truck, it looks like this, wop, 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 go sit in it, and you know, just wait for my signal. They go sit in the car. I'm literally in the middle of doing my makeup. You, I look, I could have rushed, I don't know what the fuck. Maybe I was taking too long, maybe it's my fault. Maybe I'm the problem. So I'm still doing I make a word of sitting in the car and then my mom and her boyfriend like stand outside 
when I saw them through my window, standing like on the porch, or whatever, bro, I'm shaking my fucking boots. I'm like, oh god. I'm like, I hope, I hope she can't see into the car, cause I'm like, I told this motherfucker to hunch down, cause I, mind you, I left them in the car with no keys, no nothing. I was like, just hunch down and just wait, just hunch in the car and wait. So they're standing on the porch, bitch. My heart is pitter pattering right now, bitch. I'm about to shit on myself. I'm so scared. And so I'm just anxious. I'm like, God, please don't let nothing foul happen. But in my heart, I knew some fuck shit was gonna happen. So they're sitting outside. It's cold as fuck. Why are you outside? Why are you outside? I don't know what happened. I don't know what this motherfucker did. Next thing I know, the car lights is on. There's smoke coming out the engine. It's looking like the car is gonna just pull off and drive away. And I'm like, it's not supposed to look like that. What's the deal? I'm panicking. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing in the fucking car? I told him just to hunt. How the fuck are you turn all this shit on? I got the damn keys in the house. So I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared shitless. I'm like, oh my God, my mom's gonna find out I hit this motherfucker in the car and she's gonna be like, Anya, I'm finna beat this shit on you. I am too pretty to get a beat in. Like, I see the car or whatever, and I literally hear my mom from up here. She's like, what's going on with the car? Is somebody in the car or something like that? And then she sends her boyfriend to go check and see what's wrong with the car. Bitch, I ain't never ran so fast in my motherfucking life. I ran downstairs. I ran. I ran all my life. I had to run. Forest run. Girl, with the speed of the flash carrying me. The wind of my ancestors lifting me, levitating me, flying me out the door, bitch. I must have ran outside so fast that me and and got to the car at the same fucking time. We get to the car at the same time. He opens the driver's side door. Why the fuck would you sit on the, why wouldn't you get in the back seat, dummy? So it was partially my fault, but it was also their fault too. Cause like, you're, what the fuck? You're fucking up my plan. He must've opened the door and there they go. Looking stupid. Like, oh my. So my mom's boyfriend confused because I'm acting confused. I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing in here, stink? Like, you're not even supposed to be in here. Like, what are you doing? Hold on. I'm the fucking mastermind behind this shit. She get out the car, walk towards how the girl wants to say that was the walk of fucking shame for both of us. I ain't never in my life. I ain't never in my life had the boo-boo so fucking bad. It was so ridiculous. And my mom was mad, but like didn't say anything. Long story short, she pretty much was mad that I lied to her. And she was like, why the fuck are you hiding her in the car? And then at that, my mom pretty much let me come back upstairs and finish getting ready and then let them sit in the house while I was like getting ready so I know I was awkward as fuck for them but like that you you fucked up not me so and then she still lets me go on the date she was like don't lie to me again wop 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 yink 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 I was like okay I know what you're thinking Anya that's the worst that happened it's not the worst that happened I wish that was the worst that happened we get to the restaurant right it's in like this little plaza area kind of thing so we get to the restaurant right mind you it's cold as fuck outside it's like January so it's freezing I'm freezing my neck Nipples off, nipples hard, erect. It was just a hot mess. <gasps> Did I mention? I forgot to mention. They brought me flowers. I okay, that wasn't like important to the story, but like that was really sweet. Like you brought me flowers. Like who still does that? So we get to the restaurant, right? We get there and they're like, it's an hour wait. There's an ass of people waiting. We don't have no car or something to sit in because we took a lift. So it's like we can't wait no fucking where. What the fuck are we gonna do? So it's like, it was like in a plaza area, so there was like other stuff around, but it was like a Target and like stores and shit it wasn't nothing like extravagante like it wasn't like no chilling area or something like that so we're like okay it was like an hour away and we're like we have to find something to do what the fuck they crackhead ass was like i need to smoke before we eat wop 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 i'm like nigga what the fuck are we, what are we doing right now and they didn't have no lighter so we walked to the super target that was in the area or whatever right walk in the freezing cold mind you i'm not thinking we finna be outside like that so my jacket ain't that heavy girl it's not a coat it's, just, it's freezing outside it's freezing balls outside jack frost himself wouldn't be outside in that kind of funky ass weather so we walked to the super target. We in there for a minute, cruising around, acting stupid. I'm in the baby section, acting like I'm pregnant. I really 100% suggest y'all do that. I don't know, it was life-changing experience. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. They bought me that shirt. I bought them like a little stuff seal or whatever. After we bought the lighter, we were literally in the cold, in the freezing cold. Mind you, we had to roll up in the bathroom. Do you know how ghetto that is? This motherfucker leaving crumbs and shit everywhere. Like, you're incriminating us. We're going to go to jail. Mind you, this whole time, I'm irritated. Like, I'm not even finna hit this. This shit isn't even for me. We roll up, then we walk around Target forever, trying to make it seem non-conspicuous, just in case some, some white woman just happened to go in there and be like, 
it smells like marijuana in here. When we walk out of where, now we're looking for a place to light up and stuff like that, right? It's cold and it's windy. How the fuck is this shit gonna work? When I tell you, we were literally just roaming around trying to find a spot where one, no one would see us, two, no one would smell the shit. I'm doing all this for them. This shit isn't even for fucking me. What the fuck? Hey, oh my God, our, our first date and you're being a whole junkie. They do that little one, two step after we done huddled together. I got, I gotta cut my hands and shit. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. And then we trying to find the restaurant. Bitch, when I tell you we was lost, you can see the Super's target from the restaurant whatever, cause Super's target was big as fuck. Bitch, we can't find the fucking restaurant. We're lost in the cold. I got this thin ass fucking jacket on. I'm mad as fuck. It's, I'm hungry as shit. It's late as fuck. We're still waiting on our table. This is ghetto as hell. You know, they have like the little app thing that tells you when your table is ready. Bitch, that shit never said shit. So we're just like, we don't know what to do. We're trying to find our way back. We don't have to Google Maps the shit. Put on like a walking mode or something like that. And it's giving us directions back to the restaurant. This was literally the most excruciating. And I'm telling you, when I tell you it was so cold, it's not even funny. What the fuck? It takes us at least 30, 40 minutes to find the fucking restaurant. We get back to the table, it's still not fucking ready. So I had to, we had to sit in a little waiting room, right? Then we do get seated. There's nothing on the menu that I eat. Cause my Mind you, I don't even eat at this place. This is their favorite restaurant, not mine. Literally nothing on that bitch that I eat. I almost turned into one of them chicken nugget bitches. And then I didn't get home until late as fuck. Then my mom unleashed the wrath when I get home. She wasn't like mad as fuck, but she was like, that was dumb as fuck. Why would you do that? And I was like, I don't know. I'm sorry. What the fuck? I don't, I don't know. So that's how my first date went. Um, shitty, shitty, boom, boom, bomb, bomb. Zero out of 10. Mm, they got me flowers. Two out of 10. You know, teach some. Oh, it's just some music. Welcome to Auntie Ye's Advice CA. You know, and I'm doing my hair. Yeah, she's giving Auntie. But I asked you guys on my Instagram story. If you're not following my Insta, go follow the Insta. But I asked you on my Instagram. I said, what's going on, friend? Like, talk to me. I'm like, what's going on? Like, what can I help you with? Y'all always come through with the come through. And I'm here to help y'all. I'm here for you, babe. Trying to get a girl. Okay, okay, okay. This works for all genders and all sexualities and all gender identities and all of that. People like personality. People like to laugh. People like to know what's going on in the Nagaruni. People like stuff like that. Looks can only get you so far. Yeah, you're fine. I mean, that's cute. I mean, we can make out a little bit, but then like when we're not making out and you start talking, now I want to go 
home immediately because you're bland and boring and you're making my ass crack itch. So it's all about personality. I mean, what can you bring to the table mentally, intellectually, in a humor sense? Like, what, what can you do for me? Can you make me laugh? Can you make me think? Can you teach me something? Do you have a skill, a talent, a passion? Do you have conspiracy theories all wrapped up in the brain? Stuff like that. We like stuff like that. People, period, like stuff like that. Watch. I just got you three bitches, bro. You're welcome. My ex's mom does not like her liking girls. And I broke up with her, but I miss her. Oh, I understand. If I feel like if y'all still want to be together, I feel like y'all should be together in private. But her mother doesn't know won't hurt her. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily lying. Just don't tell her. And just be like, oh no. I feel like y'all should still be together. I just feel like you shouldn't let her mother being homophobic stop you guys from being together. Like I just, I don't know. That's just me personally. I feel like y'all should still try to work it out. That's just me though. But y'all gotta really like be secret about the shit because you know, you don't want her to get in trouble. Am I being disruptive? No, I'm not. Love conquer. All. or shit if you if you really don't want to risk it then just be friends you know what i'm saying you shouldn't you shouldn't have to be out of her life completely just because you know some bullshit my house is toxic and i'm depressed i'm trying to leave girl i know the feeling i know the feeling it's not like that now but oh god i'm to i've been in some fucked up ass situations my damn self i find it's best to try to get out the house as much as possible especially if you have a like friends and stuff like that that you can like go be at their house all the time and spend the night at their house all the time then again your parents might be strict so if they are strict i say i find it easier to stick to myself you know what i'm saying stay in the background stay to my quarters you know not too much you know because that way you're not causing conflict you're not knocking heads with nobody you just stay to your Yourself, you know blah, blah, blah. and that can be depressing but you gotta find ways to make being alone fun like you gotta find a hobby find a new show to watch you gotta start painting find some new music you gotta do you gotta you, you know what i'm saying you gotta get up and move you gotta get up you gotta go outside go for a walk Go for a fucking walk by yourself not too far because you know kidnappers and human traffickers and stuff don't do it safely do it safely. I absolutely love you. I love you too. My problem is I keep letting folks from my past come back. Depending on why y'all fell out in the first place. But I'm assuming that if you guys fell out, period. Especially if they did you wrong, leave them where they at. They can apologize, make amends, but we don't have to be friends. We don't have to kick it. We don't have to talk consistently. We really don't. You can literally just stay where you're at and apologize. We can make, we can be cool. We can be cool from a distance. You don't need to come back into my life because I when I let you in the first time, you fucked up. So why would I let you in a second time to fuck up again? And then I'm assuming that you let me in the second time, so you're gonna do it a third time just for them to fuck up again. So I really suggest that once you once you are able to really cut that tie, leave that shit chopped. There's so many motherfuckers I done cut off. Bitch, I don't talk to none of them. And I don't give a fuck. They come to me right now. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, that's cool. Stay your ass over there. You don't need to come back into my life, into my circle, into my peace, into my energy. I don't need that. Stay your ass over there child i need to make new friends i'm trying but the one i'm trying to make is dry and don't talk to nobody okay well fuck them we we don't do dry around here i don't know how to make friends um if i'm being completely honest bitch i don't have any friends okay i have friends but i don't have no friends if that makes any sense i don't know how to make friends i kind of wish somebody would tell me how to make some fucking friends i want a group of bad bitch friends you know the ones that like to go to the club and shit like that and cut up and shit i want that for myself and i know everybody wants to be friends with me but none of y'all in the same state as me i live in the middle of 10 buck fucking two i don't know how to make friends Normally, when it comes to making friends, they'll find you. Normally, it'll be like one person. If you're still in school, school is a great place to make friends, to be 100% honest. All you have to do is make one friend. You make one friend, they introduce you to another friend, and another friend, and another friend. Next thing you know, you have a group of friends. Then those group of friends, they know more people, and then you know, you, you expand out like that. But the way to make that one initial friend, especially if you are in school, I don't know. When people talk to you, try to talk back. I'm, I'm saying that because I... People used to like talk to me and I used to be like, you're not talking about shit I want. Like people used to, I hate small talk to like where people talk, but they're not really saying anything. It's like you're saying shit that I can't really respond to. They'd be like, oh yeah, my dog's birthday. My dog's birthday's coming up. Oh, cute. Dogs do have birthdays. I feel like when people talk to you and stuff like that, you know, try to make a mutual connection. Especially if you feel like you and this person could be friends and stuff like that. I just feel like it will happen naturally. You know, don't try to force any friendship. And maybe you don't have any friends right now because you're not meant to. Maybe you're supposed to do like some internal work or something. I don't know. I feel like everything happens for a reason. So maybe you don't have any friends right now for a reason. And then when you actually 
actually make some friends and you're gonna be like damn I appreciate the time I spent alone to figure out who I am that way when I met these group of friends I didn't let them influence and change my personality because I'm already secure within myself from that time by myself wow I'm really speaking a prophecy right now wow Anya preach mm-hmm I really like this boy but he just got out of a relationship and only wants to be friends with benefits no respectfully no we're not gonna do that why if you just got out of a relationship i understand getting out of a relationship and i want to get back into another one but why would you want to get out of a relationship and then have relations with me no you're either going to take the whole package see you're either going to take me as a whole or you're going to move the fuck around you're not going to just take me for my lady bits and then keep it pushing so you can go talk to nancy bessie and lily that's not what we're gonna do if you want to get into the cookie jar and if you want to touch my bits if you want to if you want to touch my no no square then you need to be with me why i don't want to have and especially because stuff like that stuff like having relations and stuff like that has you know there's a lot of like connection and stuff that's required if that makes any sense like when ugh, i don't know how to explain it having relations isn't just having relations like you literally take a part of that person with you i just feel like a connection like romantically or something like that should be required if you're going to have casual fornication with somebody really hope that makes fucking sense long story short if they just want to mess with your bits don't mess with them because you are more precious than your bits yeah and he and he doesn't like you like that for real if he's if that's all he wants to do why will my stepdad leave me alone like he has a problem with everything i do i don't understand what it is about step parents or like boyfriend or girlfriends of your parents or whatever you're thinking that they're your mother or father and trying to step in and try to like parent me and shit babe i don't need that i don't need another father i don't need that i need you to step back and mind your business I don't get why some older people simply, I don't get, like they just have a problem. I don't know what it is. Like, I, is it, I don't understand why adults suck ass sometimes or why they treat kids like shit. Like, I don't get it. I don't know if it's like an authority thing or it's because you think cause I'm younger that you can just treat me like shit. I don't get it. I don't know. I really do not know what to say. I know that I've dealt with I've dealt with like annoying ass authority figures or whatever and my whole thing was I just tried to ignore the fuck out of them or I tried to literally cause as least the least amount of conflict as possible so like if that's me like literally leaving the room leaving any room that you enter then bitch that's what I'm gonna have to do if that means the only time I leave my room is to go to the fucking kitchen or fucking piss just so I can avoid your ass then that's what I'm gonna do because I just it's not worth the mental strain to have to constantly go back and forth with somebody over something stupid i hope that made sense my friend's boyfriend and me became closer over the summer and now she wants to fight <sighs> rightfully so because why as a friend you have to stay in a friend's place it's fucked up on both of y'all ends because you both owe this girl loyalty so as her boyfriend he shouldn't have been trying to be buddy buddy with you and you shouldn't have been trying to be buddy buddy with them either and that just goes to say that when you get into a relationship you need to keep your relationship and your friendship separate learn that the hard fucking way learn from a bitch's mistakes you keep your person and your friends separate they don't even need to they don't even need to no they can annoy each other's existence but they don't ever need to intertwine mingle hang out together none of that because it just causes fucking issues and then when you want to rant to your friends about your um person or whatever then they don't like them and then it's just too fucking much and then you rant about your friends to your person and then they it's just too fucking much you need to keep them shits separate separate worlds i think i have a crush on one of my guy friends but they think i'm gay but i'm bi okay so mm, i don't know i would say i don't know i say test the waters you know what i'm saying don't just fall and be like oh my god i like you so much oh my god i just want us to be together but you know just kind of like sneak little stuff here and there if you are bi and they already think you're gay just correct them oh bro you're gay no i'm bi have some respect you know you know check them right there but i just say do little things to test the water like i don't know i what that's up to your own interpretation whether you guys like missing touch hands one time or like bro you look real cute today or something like that i don't know something like that you know boys like to act real gay and stuff anyway so do something like that and just see to see if you think there's a like a connection there and if there is i say go for it if there's not i say i'm so sorry babe leave them alone and go find you somebody else okay we're gonna do two more am i wrong for liking my best friend's ex that she dated in second grade depending on what grade you guys are in now 
No, it was second grade, bitch. We were still having nap time and shit. No, fuck that. We were still having recess stuff outside. Girl, we was kids. That don't count. Bitch, if you think that counts, you need to get it together. You need to get it together. Second grade don't count for shit. That's, no, that's not your ex. That was your playmate, and you and your playmate just decided not to play together no more. But if you want to be with them, go do that. Because second grade... Girl, get a life. Out of shape asking for a friend. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is the last one. This is the most important one, all right? What you want to do is, damn. Do I have something to demonstrate? We're gonna take this edge brush. Don't judge my edge brush, it looks a little crusty. What you wanna do is you wanna put some kind of, um, some kind of substance on the skin. Whether it is baby oil, shaving, uh, what is it called, shaving cream, or something like that, then you wanna take your razor. Make sure not to nick yourself and stuff like that. What you wanna do is you wanna take it, and you know, a lot of, uh, you know, the hair on my arm goes this way, you wanna go against the hair, right? So if your hair is going this way, you wanna shave up like that in pieces, just once. Don't press down too hard, just do it lightly right right then once you got all that hair you want to clean it off with some water rinse it off rinse it off rinse it off go to the next section just you know do like this rinse it off rinse it off rinse it off right here do like this rinse it off rinse it off you want to get up on them armpits same thing same thing same thing go down rinse it off rinse it off go down Rinse it off and off. Make sure you, you got something up under there because you don't want to cut yourself and you don't want like razor bumps and shit. Okay, this phone is about to go dead. So we got a we got a repeat thought, repeat thought, repeat thought. But those were all the ones that I'm going to answer today for Auntie Ye's advice to Ye. But yeah, so that just about wraps this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time, the music that we played, and the advice that I gave you all. Not even gonna lie, I had a bit of a struggle with this hair. But this hair is from Berry Fashion Hair. It's a cute little bob wig. I will have the link to it in the description on you. I'm saying she's cute she's cute but yeah so this hair you know soft it's nice it's human hair it's cute it's a cute little moment mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thank you but um yeah so don't forget to create your own happiness I'll see you the next time I decide to do a good threefer story time music extra period bye Ooh.